In this tutorial, we show you how to create a dynamic pipe, a dynamic stick, or whatever you want to call it. For example, you can see our wind element blowing from this side. And at frame 50, the wind element moves, and so does the pole. And we've actually have it over here. If you found this tutorial useful or interesting, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Anyways, have a great day. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to make a dynamic pole. Let's delete the default cube, press Shift A Mesh, and choose a cylinder. Click over here to open up the cylinder menus. Let's reduce this. The less verts, the better, because it'll be easier on your machine. And uh, let's also make this 5CM. And there we have it. We have a beautiful pole. We can right click, shade smooth, go to object data properties, normals, and auto smooth at 75. It's looking like a smooth pole to me. Press tab, go into edit mode, press control R, and scroll up so that you've got three cuts. Click, right click. Now that you have three cuts, you can press three to choose a face select, hold in alt and select all these faces at the bottom here. Go to object data properties, add a new vertex group, and click assign. And if you click deselect, select, you'll see if it works. That's perfect. Tab, go into object mode. Now that we've got our pole selected, you might want to, depending on your machine, animate it now. So I'm just going to give it a random... Well, first I'm going to change this to glossy. And make this 0 0.15. Let's look at it through the material viewport. And let's also make the world white. And let's go to the render viewport. Choose a different color. And let's select this again and just mess with this material till we get a material effect that we like. Okay, I'm going to make it brown. And I'm quite happy with that. Next thing you want to do is press numpad 1 to be in front orthographic view. And you want to press shift A and go down to force fields and add wind. Rotate wind about 90 degrees. Press G. Numpad 7. And just for ease of seeing what the hell is going on here, I'm just going to make this a little bit darker. There we go. Alright. Now with this selected, we're going to go to the object constraint properties. Add object constraint. And we're going to click damped and we're going to damp it to the cylinder and it's going to be on the Z axis and then we're going to go to the um, where is it now? the physics properties and we're just going to increase the strength to 3 and then we're going to press shift A we're going to add a curve, the curve we're adding is a circle we're going to select this hold and shift, select the circle, control P and parent it and that's perfect. Now we can press numpad 7 and we can quickly key this. We press I to key location, rotation and scale. And oh, let's make sure we select this. I, location, rotation, scale. And then we change the frame to frame 100. Or instead let's frame 50. Press I again, location, rotation and scale. Change it to 100. And Press R while you're in top orthographic view. And rotate it 180 degrees. And press I, location, rotation, and scale, and switch it to 150. And then press I, location, rotation, and scale. And then for the last bit, we can go to 250, which is the end of our animation. Just type here 250. And we can just press R and just rotate this. 360 degrees or something like that click and press I location rotation and scale now if we watch this we can see our wind force lock in place rotate lock in place then rotate entire around the entire object as you see here. perfect and the reason why we're doing this first if you have a potato PC like myself you want to get as much done as possible before you actually add the physics properties. Click on your, your cylinder 
and go to soft body physics. Now the first thing we want to do is, okay, we can leave object the way it is. Let's click simulate. We can leave simulate the way it is. Catch, we'll get back to that now, goal. Right, we can select the vertex group we created for the goal. I'm going to go to settings. And this is where you can set the uh, stiffness and the dampering. We're going to leave this as is for now. We're going to go to strength. And we want to make the default goal one. And then we're going to edge. And this is where we're going to do a few things. Number one, you can turn on collision edge and face. And we're going to make the pull 0 0.9 the push 0 0.9 the damp let's make this around 50 and the bendiness we need this to be on 1 and we're going to expand aerodynamics I'm going to change this to lift force so the object goes back in place we can also turn on stiffness and leave that as is and self collision and leave it on average but change dampering to 1 Stiffness to 1, and then ball size 0 0.9. And that should be it. Let me just double check everything. And the final thing we can do now, everything looks correct. We can go to our catch, and we can bake this in. Once this is baked in, you can press spacebar to play just to see if it works. And you can see our dynamic pole or stick, whatever you want to call it, works perfectly with the wind element. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.